One of the first features of implementation is the use of the digital signature. Now we've all heard about digital signatures, but it's important to understand exactly how it's used. A digital signature provides assurance that the message came from the stated sender and the message did not change in transit. So we have non-repudiation. We also have the integrity feature as well. Now keep in mind that digital signatures have nothing to do with confidentiality. That's just regular old encryption. Here's the basic process. It gets a little tedious, but it's not that bad when you think through it. First off, the sender wants to send a message, so he generates a message digest. He uses a hashing algorithm to generate that message digest. Now, the sender then encrypts the digest with his private key. He then sends the plain text message and the encrypted digest. Now, the receiver receives the plain text message and receives the encrypted digest, and he, first off, decrypts the digest. Now, he uses the sender's public key to decrypt the digest. Then, the receiver creates his own message digest of the received plain text message. So now he has two different digests. He has one that was sent to him from the sender, and he has one that he created himself. And he compares the two. If the two agree, if they're the same digest, what that means is that the digital signature validated that the message came from the stated sender because we decrypted it with his public key, and the message did not change in transit at all. So that's the purpose of a digital signature.